uh, you heard from uh, Dr. Stitzer this, this morning, and um, she is my boss. And um, yes, she is a researcher. So uh, within the Mid-Atlantic Node, she's the principal investigator. But um, I, I am grateful and uh, and uh, happy to say that uh, you know Dr. Stitzer understood the importance of dissemination. That what that when she does her work, which is uh, which is you know primarily on motivational incentives, that it's important to. Of course, you want to see if you are the person who thinks this is a this is a practice that will benefit, um, you know, folks in, in, with substance use disorders. Of course, you want to see it, in, you know, implemented. You, you don't want it to sit um, on on a shelf. Your research, or to have your um, research, you know, as as uh, Linda talked about, just kind of uh, translated, but but still, you know, still not. A, not to the end user, you know. and um, and so uh, you know very nicely, um, you know I I was offered that position, and so I've been doing that for about five years. So I and I truly enjoy my work in that um, I see myself as the as the facilitator that I'm the person who says so. Here's this wonderful stuff that um, the CTN has been doing, and you have, a, you have an opportunity to, um, to take advantage of it. So what I'm gonna talk about uh, this morning, and by the way, um, this is the presentation uh, that is up on the screen. It was not in your folders, but was in a pile. So um, I know I saw some people kind of looking around to see what, they have, what, uh, what presentation was being given. So, and there, there might be a tiny bit of overlap, but um, hopefully it's, it's uh, serving to get the message on. So uh, this is the uh, CTN logo, and I, I, you know, so we've been busy in the last 10 years. So Blending Products started around 2001, 2002, and, um, and we've created a lot of them. So what is the, what is the goal, um, you know, and, and again, as you talked about this, the idea of bringing scientific findings into mainstream addiction treatment. Does anybody know what the lag has been previously to this of uh, research getting to the provider? Anybody know the, the number of years it takes, usually? Yes? Two to four years. Two to four years. What are you going to say? I've heard up to 17 years. I've heard up to 17 too. So, seven, so in the past 17 years, well, it almost seems like it wouldn't be useful anymore, right, after 17 years. So what we have tried to uh, create is something that uh, gets to you faster. Uh, and that was the whole purpose of the blending products, to have that um, information you know, at the ready. Uh, the way that we have disseminated them in the past is through um, what we're now calling regional dissemination workshops. So you might look for these as well. We used to have a huge uh, blending conference, and um, you know, obviously, well, two things happened. One was that that was pretty expensive to put on. Um, certain people were able to travel to wherever it was. We had them in uh, um, Albuquerque, for example, and um, and it was, you know, and there was a great uh, content there. But in, in trying to uh, you know reduce uh, reduce some of our um, expenditure, we went with something that's a little bit smaller and regional. So there was one, for example, here uh, in Baltimore uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, but the the nice byproduct of that is that now the workshops can be relevant to people within that region. So if, for example, you know you're in Ohio and uh, What's, what's most problematic or traumatic there is methamphetamine use, then the material will also be centered around that, what's going on. It also makes for a greater um, uh, relationship and cooperation with state agencies because now we've incorporated who else can we work with. So recently we also had a um, symposium and um, in, in light of uh, blending uh, mental health uh, um, and substance abuse, you know, again, uh, trying to present information to you that is, 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 is 
uh, very important in terms of whatever field you're in and kind of taking that into account now that we're looking at that, that um, merging. And then there are things called blending teams. So, um, and, and this is also the, um, if it hasn't uh, been made clear to you, um, this is also kind of in a way what has, has made this, um, this attempt so important that um, you, you're looking at researchers, but you're also uh, involving practitioners and policymakers to say, well, this is or is not going to work. Um, this is this is some of the things that you have to look at from uh, you know from state uh, mandates. Um, how's this going to how's this going to uh, you know uh, fly in in your particular state or region? And. Um, you know, the, the nice thing is, I think, is that in some ways, the work has been done for you. You, you as clinicians, um, you know, can surmise things. Well, I notice when I do this, you know, when I have, uh, for example, when I have coffee and donuts, I have more people in my group, right? Um, or you might say, well, um, I notice that, um, for example, um, I just took a training on um, sexual health and relapse prevention. Um, I noticed that uh, you know, the, the folks that I work with who are um, uh, transgender are having this particular issue with this particular substance, okay? Uh, and so it, in some ways, what that research does is say, what's going on? It, like takes the pulse, you know, of what's going on around the country and what needs to be addressed. And there's, you know, there's thoughtful process into what has to be addressed. And then, and so talking to practitioners, so we call it bi-directional in that it goes both ways. Um, and having these regional training centers is the opportunity for people to come together and talk to each other. Uh, and, and, and as it says, we convene in, in different parts of the country. Um, <clears throat> so you talked about, and we talked about NIDA and SAMHSA. I, I'd like to see a show of hands of people who have heard of the Clinical Trials Network before today. Okay, so here we go. You know, when, um, when Linda asked the question about um, had anybody used the blended product, and I think I only saw one hand, I thought, well, this is terrific because we have the right people in the right room, right? So you, you'll have an exposure to them today and kind of see how they um, might be able to help you. And, and it's nice to, um, uh, to also impart to you uh, what precedes that, what precedes that um, blended product. So I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, the, uh, the blending teams are made up of NIDA research findings. And it, another thing is that, um, for example, with the MIA step, uh, which became a blending product, it was actually a study, and I'll talk a little bit more about this later, but it was a study um, to look at using uh, motivational interviewing in the intake process. What was discovered in that study was that um, lots of clinicians who said they were doing motivational interviewing were not doing motivational interviewing. Uh, when they started to do taping and rating, they realized that people really weren't as adept at motivational interviewing as maybe they themselves thought or as, you know, as it was uh, you know, being shown in this particular study. So the, the, the product that developed from that was not how to use MI in intake, but how to do MI and how to do it consistently. And as we talked about, when you go someplace and you learn something, and um, you know, as the weeks pass by, uh, it, it starts to fade, right? And so one of the things that was discovered also was that we need some of this, um, this consistency and oversight to help people retain their skills. Okay, so that's a, that's a good example of how it becomes clinically relevant. So this basically just talks about the blending team and um, who, who, is, uh, who is part of that. Um, you will see there that it says um, that they are uh, uh, composed of members from SAMHSA, CSAT's Addiction Technology Transfer Center, NIDA researchers and community treatment providers participating in NIDA's CTN network. So that was that uh, map that um, Dr. Stitcher showed to you. And then here's the, here's the diagram for the blending process. 
So um, selected CTN, so one of the things that happens, if you're not already aware of it, is that it actually becomes implemented somewhere. So we go to a clinic, say, in Baltimore City, and uh, for example, for the HIV rapid testing, say we'd like to use your site as the platform for seeing how this works. Okay? And then that, that agency gets to participate and experience it hands-on, and that's and when we have those findings to share it with other treatment providers. Oh, I think Linda had this slide too about the current blending uh, products, and, and this is my slide about are they sitting on the shelf? Because <laughs> this is my office. <laughs> um, but but it, we hoped for today to be the opportunity, because I think we do realize this. You're all very busy, and when you're not here, um, you're, you're pressed for, for time in terms of you know, doing just what's you know natural uh, order of the day. And so this is, this is an opportunity to kind of take them out of the cellophane. And let's take a look at them and see if they could help you. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit about um, how you might access some of these things online. So we do have these products and you can order these products, but I also want to show you on the um, uh, national ATTC network uh, how you might find them. So this is the Clinical Trials Network, if you, uh, uh, if you are becoming familiar with it. Um, dissemination Monitor, which um, if I do say so myself, I, mean, I didn't have anything to do with this concept, I think it's fabulous. So if you'll see that uh, up on that top bar, you have what's new, um, and it'll tell you things that are new in the library. Um, stimulant abuser groups to engage in 12 step. Um, over here, uh, you can search the library by author for any articles that you want to find on a particular uh, subject. Um, there's, this will tell you about the CTN, will tell you the different protocols that are happening. Um, and if, if you, um, I don't know if you can scroll down a little, but um, right here, conferences and trainings, um, here's another place where you can get CEUs. So addressing sexual issues and addictions treatment, that one's new. But um, there's, you'll see that it says, um, for, uh, you know, go to the CTN training page, so there's another place where you can do something online and get some CEUs. Um, they have a, a blog now, which is nice. You can just go to the blog and find out what's, what's the latest stuff, what's going on. Um, so I go here a lot, and uh, it's just a great place to find uh, information if somebody says to you, so, so what about this, um, you know, uh, substance abuse and trauma? You can just go here and find uh, what's, again, what's been, um, what's already been uh, researched. So, and uh, Dr. Sister talked about, you know, the articles that have been published, you can find them all here. And it's free, you know, it's a, um, you, you won't need any kind of um, password or, or, um, or, or payment for articles. So that's pretty terrific. And then if you go to the um, NATTC.org, the first one. The other one is called Motivational Incentives. Um, <coughs> That is something that we did at the Mid-Atlantic Node, so any, any uh, information that you want, um, you can go there and, and, um, and find out lots of, lots of fun and interesting um, facts about implementation. So if you go to Quick Links, and NIDA SAMHSA Blending Initiative, and then scroll down a little bit, you'll see right here that um, Here's the uh, regional blending conferences, and at some point, <laughs> you'll have the listing of all of the, here they are, so right here, here they are. Um, and if you click on them, you'll, you'll go to, if you go to one, for example, you'll see that it says download. So you can actually download all of the information, and you can pick particular things within the download. So, uh, you know, say for example, if I talk about something with me a step, you can go there and actually do it. Okay? 